That's the dragon route. You hold on and I'll spin you. I'm actually trying to film it. <laughs> what is it? It's made from coconut. It was perfection. Look at this. They love their karaoke in Vietnam. Two minutes away. Hello and welcome to Da Nang. Hello. We arrived in Da Nang last night. We flew down from Hanoi. So today is our first day of exploring. We've got a few places in mind that we want to visit. We want to go to the beach and we want to go and see the Dragon Bridge, which apparently at 9 p.m. on a Saturday night, it breathes fire. And water, supposedly. Oh, and water. Yeah, so supposedly it's a really big show each week everyone goes out and sees it we are going to spend the afternoon and the evening exploring and then try and make it there for 9 p.m as the finale to our first day in Danae. Mm. first stop definitely needs to be a bit of lunch lunch has arrived. So I went for a little combo. It was like 33,000, which is just over a pound, for a coffee and a little pate bread. They're like really thin French sticks, but they're actually quite nice. It's like a miniature bun me. Yeah, exactly. Emma's gone for all of the sweet stuff. No, this is half of yours, but I think you're gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's got a lot of chocolate inside it. And I've got a red velvet croissant. Yeah, that looks really nice. A chocolate frappe. Gone for a proper like sweet lunch today. There it is. It does look interesting. It looks like a lot of pickled veg. It's not actually too bad. It's like, it does taste a lot like pickled veg. A lot of sauce in it, but the sauce is actually really nice. It's got a nice spice to it. I'm pretty happy with that for a pound for a coffee and this. My red velvet croissant has got this cream stuff in the middle. It's almost like cream cheese, but like quite sweet. It's really nice. Stop, stop, stop. You are listening to me. You hold on and I'll spin you. What, after all that sugar? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I was just about to say, actually, I think you are probably going to get sick. <laughs> Look how fat she is. My feet are off the ground and everything. <laughs> get me down for me. I can't, I can't get up. But I love you more. Your mum has brought no, you up. No, can you please? Trying. I'm actually trying to film it. All right, so we've Definitely come across this. Feet. I know I shouldn't have. I'm never letting you go again. So just come across this oh, little like spaceship. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Some sort of monument. I actually spotted this. Oh, I just got wet. No, you didn't. Did. It's nowhere near us. I might have dribbled. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Bit special. I actually spotted this as we come in last night, and it was all lit up. Which was nice. Hello. We've managed to walk down this really derelict looking road. Obviously, Da Nang is like one of the big tourist places in Vietnam. Yeah. And at the moment, it's not really giving tourist vibes. I mean, I know we're probably not at the right places, but we've not actually seen many like tourist attractions. Some of these roads just do, and some of the buildings just quite abandoned. We're basically trying to get to the bridge over there to cross <laughs> to then let us get to the beach. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can see there's a golden bridge just over there in the distance. And that's the bridge we'll be heading to later. That's the Dragon Bridge. It actually looks pretty sick from here. Especially with all the mist over the mountain. But oh. we haven't made it to the orange bridge that we were looking at. So we need to cross this and then a little bit further and then we'll be at the beach. Yay! Do you have a little look inside? That looks so cool. This looks like it's almost someone's house now. Oh wow, look at these chairs. They are very posh. Now we're over the bridge and into this town, it definitely seems a lot busier than our place. We've also seen a lot, lot more tourists. Maybe this is where most people stay. There seems to be quite a few Western places as well, like there's a yeah. pizza hut over there. It's 
obviously a lot more westernized on this sort of bit of land. And what we've noticed as well is there are a ton of karaoke places, yeah. aren't there? Like, karaoke and billiards. Yeah, karaoke and billiards. There seems to be a karaoke shop every other shop. Yeah. It's crazy. Alright, we have almost finally arrived. At the beach! It's kind of weird being at a beach, isn't it? We've not been to a beach since Thailand, I think. Oh, what are they doing over there? So it's like a trap. Oh! He's a pro. You want to try it? You want Do you want to try it? Is it hard or is it easy? No, it's not hard. When it's open, you chum in. Yeah. Uh, follow the beat. I'll give it a go. This is going to be <laughs> terrible. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Oh my hand. Yes, I'm right. That's good. <laughs> this is a uh, rich banana oh. and start from the uh, west, north of Vietnamese. Oh, okay. And in that uh, place, there are many ethnic groups. Yeah. They create an like this to connect the people, connect uh -huh. every ethnic oh, cool. in the mountain region of Vietnam. How long have you been here? About two weeks. Started in Hanoi and we went up to Sapa. Uh, Where's your next destination? We're going up to Hue. It's my city, it's my hometown, it? man. Oh, no. What is it? It's made from coconut. Oh, okay. Uh, the coconut tree. It's almost like sweet coconut flesh, like dried out. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Good. What's it called? It's just a uh, coconut jam in Vietnamese. Muk is jam. Okay. Muk yu. Muk, muk yu. Muk yu. What was your name? Can you call me Rocky. Rocky? Rocky, okay. yes. I'm Jacob. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Emma. Go that yeah, way we'll and see. buy a really good coconut jam. Yeah. yeah. What a lovely bloke. Yeah, he was so nice. Really nice. Like yeah. Formative. Oh, yeah. Everything. He told us so much. And his English was so good. Mm. So it was really easy to talk to him. Yeah, so shout out Rocky. What are you doing? Is that it? <laughs> oh my word. The last place we stayed at, the hotel lobby, literally played ABBA's Happy New Year song constantly and it was so grating. Well, we definitely came here on the right day. There's just so much going on. The guy was saying that it's the beginning of the tech. Tet celebrations which is very similar to Chinese New Year so it's their big celebration that they have how cool that we get to be here for it mm. so we'll get to be here for all the build-up and then we think that we'll be in maybe Ho Chi Minh when it actually is yeah, the actual is. celebration which will probably be a really good place to be actually mm. So Rocky was saying there's a big gate somewhere further down and I'm assuming this is what you mean. Oh wow, look at the sunset there. We've come to dinner and we found this restaurant called Chi Coffee and Brunch, which is a really cute little cafe, very aesthetic. We rocked up and didn't actually really know much of what the menu was. But it turns out it's actually got a lot of Malaysian food on it. I've definitely missed Malaysian food, so we're gonna get a little bit to eat. We've ordered beef soup with dumplings and then we've also ordered a soy chicken and rice. Oh, this looks really good, but I can smell the coriander a lot. Oh, the one time meat looks like it's got thick egg noodles in it. Is that the seaweed broth thing? Oh, it's really coriander. Oh, is it? This has got peanuts in it, which I'm yeah. very excited about. So this is like shredded chicken with soy sauce or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that looks really nice. Mmm, it's nice. Just like soy sauce, with Sorry. like peanut -y to kind of to taste in it. It's nice. Look at how thick these noodles are. They're definitely like one-ton noodles, like one-ton meat noodles. Mm. Oh, some of that went in the blueberry tea. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's got like a really nice savoury flavour. The noodles are almost more like pasta. They do telly. look quite thick. And the broth is really good. It, you can definitely taste umami from the mushrooms. 
Well, that was very good. It was quite sort of simple, but I do like simple. Shredded chicken with the rice, but with some of your broth, it was perfection. And really three, good. Three chilies were really good as well. Like, yeah, like, it was good nice to get flavor. different like chilies to go with it. We are on our way now to go and find the Dragon Bridge, which I'm so excited about. Looking forward to the fire and water show. It's about a half hour walk, but it doesn't start till nine and it's half seven. So we're going to walk over there, soak up a bit of the atmosphere before it starts. Maybe have a drink or something, have a little wander. Just coming by the karaoke bar. Oh yeah! It's the same place. That's why they're singing so loud. So there's two different people doing two different songs at two ends of the bar. They love their karaoke in Vietnam. They do. When we were talking to Rocky earlier, he was like, have you noticed they do karaoke with the celebrations? He was like, yeah. And he's like, do you find it annoying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, just think it's funny. Well, I admire it in a sense, because I do not have the confidence to be able to just belt something out completely out of key. I think it's a good way to have fun though, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah. It is quite fun to yeah. all just in a big group, like, having a good yeah, like sing song we just come out onto the lake the river sorry it looks really nice doesn't it all the reflections and the lights and the yeah yeah look at this oh oh there's boats out there oh this is a nice oh, view isn't it yeah. look at the oh is that a big ship there Oh yeah, it looks like a boat restaurant. I think maybe during Tet, they have boats out on the lake, all lit up with lanterns and stuff. There's the bridge itself. It's green at the minute. We'll have to walk up, find a bar or something. It's gone. Oh, it's gone golden now. Oh, I can see water spouting out of something there. So there's uh, almost like a Vietnamese version of the merlion. How nice is that? Oh, that's so cool. Just realised that guy just said Lovelock. It's the Lovelock Bridge. I saw it in the Lonely Planet guide that John and Allo got me, that there was a Lovelock Bridge here. But I didn't actually know where it was, but this is obviously it. Yeah. What is that? Are you alright? That's scary! That is a bit... They're crazy. abusing him making roti, that looks really good. Now onto the food. There's so many smells and flavours. It looks like they're singing and dancing, it's like a young girl group. It looks like there's a judge here. It looks like it's been recorded on TV. Okay, so we've got a ginger tea in hand. We are now kind of come back to the bridge. It's uh, seven minutes until it goes. People are literally right up on the bridge as well, like right underneath the dragon's mouth. And I think it'd probably be a better view from down here. Yeah. I think we're about 30 seconds away. It's getting a bit, a bit exciting. Oh, it's gone gold. <gasps> Whoa! Woo! Oh, that is a nice bit of heat as oh, well. Say, that's so cool. That is cool. Yeah. And it was, as you said, very nice and warm. Yeah, it gave a nice little warm breeze on your face. Nobody's walking away yet. I feel like everyone's just here, like, in anticipation. Yeah. Just, just turned blue now, so maybe it's not. Yeah, is this the water? water? Oh, maybe. Oi. Oh. oh, it's going again. Oh, that's Ooh. some really, like, black smoke. I love how, like, it goes into yeah, that fire the at the end. It does shoot water. Oh my word. Yeah. You would get drenched up there. I read that it was lucky that if you get wet from the water from the dragon. Oh, and again. It shoots so far. I think 
think that's a wrap. I know. <laughs> And it goes golfing again. That was a nice to end the day on, wasn't it? Yeah. Part of me was thinking when we were walking along earlier, I was like, it's not going to happen, is it? Like, no one's here. I feel like with these things, you read it online, but you never really know yeah. whether it's actually a thing or not. I'm glad that it's still going on. That was quite nice. Well, let's go up and get closer then. Yeah. I think that's the end of the video. We are now going to somehow try and make our way back to our place. I think it's a 50 minute walk. Yeah, we didn't think about that part. We've already been walking for about 15 kilometers today. So I'm assuming it's going to be another five back. Anyway, we're going to end it here because it's very late. I'm very tired. Looking forward to getting into bed tonight. It's been a long one, but it's been a really nice day. Loved exploring yeah. Danang. Really like it here actually. Yeah, I, I think where we are is probably a bit out of the way, which is a bit of a shame yeah but. if you're gonna come here stay by the beach because that's where all the action is mm. thank you for watching we always appreciate the watch and we'll see you in the next one which will probably still be in Danang. who knows what we'll be up to that will be a surprise for next week yeah see you later bye oh look at this place it's just a little bonus clip for anyone who's uh, not clipped off yet